Hi, my name is Brandon, and I'm a co-host on the Pseudo Show podcast, part of the Destination Linux Network. I'm going to walk through Mist.io as a follow-up to our cloud management episode. For those that are not familiar with Mist.io, it is an open source cloud management platform that can manage several different public cloud and on-premise providers. I'm not going to go over the installation process in this overview that is well documented on the Mist Community Edition GitHub page. So let's go ahead and get started. Mist's landing page gives you a high level overview of what it's managing, including the number of virtual machines and cloud instances that you're that it's currently managing, the number of block volumes that it's managing, and the DNS zones that it's managing if the public cloud or the private infrastructure supports DNS as a service. The rest are missed specific objects, such as SSH keys that are managed by MIST, scripts for automation, schedules, exactly how it sounds, that's a MIST specific schedule. Rules is a basic policy engine that's inside a MIST. And Teams is the RBAC mechanism. Below that overview is the machines that are being monitored. This environment, I'm not monitoring any of my virtual machines. But if I was monitoring my virtual machines, a status of my virtual machines would be shown here. Next to that are logs. So MIST is continually monitoring your infrastructure and any observation and any change both inside of MIST and outside of MIST will show up in the, in the logs. And the final uh, part of the main dashboard is the cost widget. And this shows you your monthly cost per cloud and your total cost. You can add additional clouds by selecting the cloud button here or going over and clicking on the cloud button on the left-hand side of the page. As you can see, I've already discovered DigitalOcean, a community favorite, and a KVM hypervisor. But you can see here, when I click the plus sign or the cloud button on the landing page, it'll take me to this add a cloud page. And as you can see, MIST supports several different public cloud providers and on-premise providers such as OpenStack, KVM, and to some degree in the community edition, container infrastructure. Let's go take a look at what MIST has already discovered. As you can see, I've already discovered a KVM hypervisor and my DigitalOcean account as a cloud provider. MIST does a discovery of your environment, not just the resources it provisions. So you can manipulate resources that are already there. Let's go ahead and create a new VM though from the interface so we can see how that works. Just go down and click the plus button, at the bottom corner. We're gonna select a DigitalOcean as our provider. And I'll give this a name. We're gonna put this in San Francisco too. We're gonna of course go select an image, my favorite, Fedora 32. And we're gonna select a flavor. I'm gonna select uh, a $5 a month droplet. You also notice that there are sizes that have been deprecated. So the old $5 a month droplet had half a gigabyte of RAM. And I believe this is pulling this data from the DigitalOcean API. So this is just coming from the DigitalOcean API. So just beware of that when you provision a new instance on DigitalOcean. We're going to select my default SSH key, and this is an SSH key that is unique to MIST.io. I can add a cloud init script if I wanted to, so I could just copy and paste one here or type it in. I can also attach a volume, so this is uh, the block volumes that are available. 
in DigitalOcean. I can either create a new one and select what type of format I want it to be, give it a name and a size, or I can attach an existing volume. I already have one in the San Francisco 2 region. So let's go ahead and attach that. I can also set an expiration. So what is an expiration? So I can set uh, the machine to either stop or be destroyed. But since I still get billed for machines that are uh, in a shutdown state on DigitalOcean, I want to go ahead and destroy this. And I'm going to change it so it will terminate itself in one hour. I can also have MIST run a post-deploy script. As far as I can tell, this can be any script that can be executed on a Linux machine. So Bash, Python, if you have it installed, most distributions have Python installed by default, which means you can also run Ansible playbooks. I actually have an Ansible playbook already available to be used inside of MIST. So let's go ahead and use that. It'll upgrade all the packages that they are already upgraded and it will install and enable cockpit if that's not already done in the image. I can also schedule tasks, but we already, I'll get into tasks here shortly. If this was gonna be a longer lived virtual machine, I'd create a DNS record and I can select my zones, uh, any zone that DigitalOcean is managing. I can also enable monitoring if I wanted to. But since this is a short lived virtual machine, I'm going to leave that disabled. Let's go ahead and launch this virtual machine and we'll go take a look at it. So as you can see in the DigitalOcean interface, my virtual machine is being deployed and my test two volume that I created a few days ago has been attached. Let's go back into MIST. As you can see, we have the virtual machine that we just looked at in DigitalOcean. Let's see what we can do with it in MIST. So we can enable monitoring right now. I can uh, attach or detach volumes. Let's go ahead and uh, detach that volume. Let's go back into DigitalOcean. Let's refresh the page. And as you can see, that volume is no longer attached to this virtual machine. I can also get shell access to this virtual machine. I can stop it, reboot it, resize it. I also terminate the instance. I can also reattach the volume. I can associate another SSH key, rename the virtual machine, run a script, transfer ownership. This is transferring ownership between different users inside a mist, or I can tag it. And we'll get into tags here in just a moment. I can also enable monitoring on this machine. I can add uh, rules in the policy in through the through the policy engine. And I can also view other information about my instance running on DigitalOcean. Volumes, networks, and zones only work with providers that support these services. Volumes are block storage devices such as the DigitalOcean block service or Amazon uh, Elastic block storage or an OpenStack cinder backed uh, block storage. Networks in MIST is the construct of, of a VPC. 
DigitalOcean just started supporting VPCs. So this is only supported in a handful of providers such as Amazon, Google, and OpenStack. Zones are DNS zones. So my DNS is managed by DigitalOcean today. And if you utilize uh, DigitalOcean's DNS service, you can manage your DNS zones right here in Mist.io. This is also supported in other providers that support DNS as a service. I think keys are pretty self-explanatory. These are just SSH keys that you can use so you can execute scripts or uh, get shell access to uh, an instance that Mist is managing. Images are all the images that are available for you to deploy, in the, this case, DigitalOcean's API. So if I click into this, I'm going to see several Ubuntu images, CentOS images, and Fedora images. I can do a search on them, as well as select an image, and I can provision that image right from here. Scripts can be any shell script, and from what I can tell, also Python scripts, and Ansible playbooks. So you can add additional scripts and playbooks by clicking on the plus sign here at the bottom, right-hand corner of the screen. You can give it a name, a little description, what type it is, uh, executable, so a bash script, um, or an Ansible playbook, and you can give it a source either from GitHub or uh, an HTTP source, or uh, just type it in here in line. Schedules are essentially the ability to schedule tasks, and you can utilize do once, repeat, or if you know cron really well, you can use uh, cron syntax. You can even get granular with your machines. You can select specific machines, or you can say, run this schedule against a group of machines with specific tags that are older than a certain number of days, as well as you know uh, cost. So if I wanna say, uh, schedule a task to happen on machines that cost more than $15 a month. Say, delete those virtual machines because I forgot to turn them off or, or terminate them. Go and uh, terminate those virtual machines based on that cost. Rules is the policy engine inside of MIST. It's just a simple if else statement and you can uh, run uh, a policy against metrics or other events inside of MIST. Teams is the RBAC mechanism inside of MIST. It is very limited inside of the MIST community edition, so I'm not going to go into it. Getting access to the API is pretty simple. So if I want to get access to the API as my user, I go in, go to click on the user icon and go to account. And I can create an API token right here in the MIST interface. One thing I also appreciate about MIST that's avail that is not available in other open core CMPs is you have the ability to white label 
uh, mists interface. So I can add a custom logo to replace the mist logo up here if I chose. Thank you so much for watching this overview of Mist. If you've enjoyed it, please leave a comment below and hit the like button. Watch for more content like this from me in the near future, and make sure to subscribe to the Pseudo Show and other content on the Destination Linux Network.